And now another important story for all of us. Tonight, the issue of fire safety is front and center in New York City. The commissioner of the FDNY writing two letters in the past six months to federal regulators that advocated for a crackdown on the rising number of dangerous lithium ion batteries that charge things like e-bikes or scooters. Dangerous because they start fires and burn buildings and kill people. FDNY Commissioner Laura Cavanaugh joins us in the Eyewitness News studio to talk about this campaign. And Commissioner, thank you for joining us. Thanks um, for having me. So what are you asking the Consumer Product Safety Commission to do? So we're asking them to do a few things. One, take a critical look at this and figure out how we can regulate these devices going forward. How can we make sure they're safe like other electronics we have in our home? But also we're asking them to seize devices that we know right now aren't regulated to make sure they're not making their way into people's homes. So explain in lay terms what that means because I don't really understand yeah. that. What is it not regulated? What is, what's the, is, are there good batteries and bad batteries? So there's a couple of things. One, we really need all devices, all electronics to be UL certified. That's how we make sure that Most they're importantly. safe in our homes, exactly. And that's what we're talking to the Consumer Product Safety Commission about. Um, but there are also many things that they can do and they can regulate things that we have in our everyday devices like our phones where they stop charging if they get too hot or if the battery is damaged, they actually shut off. So there are things the Consumer Product Safety Commission can uh, demand of the manufacturers that make items safer. And I know you've worked closely with this commission before, but I'm looking at the letter from August of last summer and then the one just this week, uh, February 10th, yeah. 2023. And, and you went for, it went from, you know, a, a bad situation to a crisis situation from the tone of your letter. Yeah, it's really urgent. You know, we've seen a big spike in these and we want to make sure they know that this is uh, continuing to increase, that this has not leveled out. Um, and because they did take action on our last letter, we also felt it was important to keep asking for additional action. So let's look at the numbers because the numbers really do tell the story here. Last year, 216 fires, 147 injuries, six deaths. Uh, and that's just, that's twice as much as it was in 2021 more than twice as much as in 2020 and four times as much as it was in 2019. And this year so far, 23 fires, 36 injuries and one death. Exactly. It's really critical. I mean, you saw it this week, right? Uh, just a couple days ago, um, we saw a fire where someone was critically injured from having these devices uh, in their home. And it's, you know, really, really dangerous for residents. Uh, if you've seen these on TV, the way they explode, it's nearly impossible to get out. You know, when we say catch fire, it's almost yeah. misleading. They really explode when they catch fire. And so if you have one in your home and it's between you and the exit, it's very hard to get out. And that makes it even more dangerous for our first responders. So right. Really and you can't get ex you, if you're the homeowner. Or, you, or the, the tenant, you can't get out, and the firefighters have to go in, come in from the window, exactly. right? Exactly. It's a huge volume of fire, and so it's incredibly dangerous for both the first responders and residents. And then, if you recall that roof rope rescue a few months ago, yeah, um, the only way out was the window, and that was because there was such heavy volume of fire in the apartment. There were a lot of people who got injured in that. Four firefighters actually climbing up ropes. We hadn't seen that in decades. Yeah. Yeah, it's a really, really critical, I think, that people understand. Um, you know, you often hear safety advice, but really understanding how dangerous these are if you have them in your home, that it's really critical. So what has been the response so far from the federal government? So uh, the Consumer Product Safety Commission has been very responsive, and we're very grateful for that. Um, they did recall a number of devices. They have um, reached out to a number of manufacturers to demand additional safety precautions, and they continue to work on that for us. Also yeah. providing us some uh, technology and some data and some research, which is um, helpful. You talked about fire safety. We've talked about fire yeah. safety. I want to talk about one of the controversies. You talked about it last night on our air, actually, during a story mm -hmm. we did. Um, you reorganized some of your department as the commissioner, first woman, woman commissioner. Um, when you were appointed last year, uh, there were a lot of people who said, you know, well, in the, some people in the department, well, we're, we don't like this. And in fact, two of your very high chiefs said we want a demotion because we don't want to work under these kinds of situations. How did you how do you respond to that? What's been the fallout from that? And is it because you're a woman? Is it because you're not a former firefighter? You know, I, I think every commissioner before me, as you mentioned, has made changes to their team. I really deeply respect everyone that I work with, and we are completely uh, focused on the mission. You know, that is what it's for all of us about at the end of the day. It's about the members and their safety. It's about the New Yorkers and their safety, and everyone there is focused on that. You know, any conversations that we're having as a team are the types of conversations teams and families have all the time. Um, but, you know, that's why I'm here tonight. We're focused on this mission um, exclusively, making sure our members and New Yorkers are safe. Well, we appreciate it. Uh, Laura Cavanaugh, Commissioner of the FDNY, thank, thank you for you joining us, and good luck with your campaign to, to stop this. I appreciate this. it. All right? All Thanks right. for the help. Thank you, Laura. Uh, by the way, we want to remind everyone, you can still see our special operation, Save a Life, on our website and all of our other ABC NY platforms. We are partners with the FDNY, the fire departments all throughout the tri-state, and several 
private businesses, including the Kitticup Corporation, which passes out hundreds of thousands of smoke detectors to people who otherwise couldn't afford them.